At Lark 3ZX it seems like your sound alerts browser source is offline make sure you've implemented the source correctly in OBS. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And our pitcher in this game, Bo Brisky. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective Batting here. Seven. So, you know, you look that at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Batting eight. And there's two down. Well, seven, Man, eight. that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself. It's a Here's nine. Tyler O'Neill. The center fielder, number 28. Tyler and the pitch. O'Neill. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Roll over to Votto. And O'Neill is retired. Oh, but we talk about now how that. the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. With the way it comes out of his eight. hand as it hits. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Mo Pacheco. Shortstop. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. First offering misses the mark. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. The pitch. And a strike in there. And there's a foul ball. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. That's a really good take. Caught him looking for the K. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Tyler O'Neill next up for the Blue Jays. He's all for one. Towards first. Dives and he can't hang on. To first and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So two down. Mo Pacheco the next to hit. Mo Pacheco. And there's a ball. Pacheco measures six feet two inches, 200 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is fouled back. Hey, 
Hey, see it. Hey, drive it. Here we go. And he deals. That oh. one misses. Two balls, two strikes. I Goes did. down looking. Back here at Great American Ballpark, we go to the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Brisky, back to work. Out to short, Pacheco. First out in the top of the eighth. Now that the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. One down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Knocks it down. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second half. So digging in, Mo Pacheco. The batter number six. Shortstop, Mo Pacheco. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. There's the strike, 95 of that one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Checks his swing, now an appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, two runs on eight hits. One error. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And now, your 2000. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. So here's the lefty, Nick Lodolo. Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a that good thing in this the case, not allowing so too many base runners. So yeah. on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. On the ground, Pacheco. Good feed. That's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. So up next, hey, Mo Pacheco. Pacheco. Looking for better results than last night. He went 0 for 4. Ball now one, no out. strikes. And that's a little bit high. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little left. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore.
So one out, nobody on. Now, Alejandro Kirk, 0 for 1 so far. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Throw over to Votto, two down. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mo Pacheco. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. And a base hit into right. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. Doubled in his first A.B. Pacheco gets his lead at first with nobody out. Left field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Austin. One down, runner at first. Austin Hendrick getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Over to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Mo Pacheco, the next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered in this game. Pacheco. Pacheco, in his rookie season, only 18 years old, and he was a third-round pick in 2023 that's in there that's strike one good yep, eye right the there and a pitch that clips the corner Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Got him looking. And there's two down. Up next to Cincinnati. Back here at the ballpark. So bottom of the ninth. In now for the Reds. Mo Pacheco. Pacheco. Multi-time All-Star. 29 years old. And he was born in Canada. Hey, come on, big guy. Get your pitch. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. Now the 0-1. Swings through that. Probably no surprise to you, Boog, but Toronto produces more MLB players than any other city in Canada. Montreal is right up there, too. At the belt and fires. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff, man, in the ninth. Well, a well throw slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Fans, our final line score tonight.
First for the victorious Blue Jays, six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left 17 men on base. For the Reds, three runs on eight hits, one error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Cincinnati Reds. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. You talk about hitters' ballparks, we're sitting in one of them, Singy. And people have choked over the years, great American small park instead of ballpark because of the way that the ball flies. For the pitchers, got to keep the ball down, see if you can get it on the ground. Otherwise, you'll be asking for a new baseball from the umpire. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And pitching here today, Luke Weaver. Chris, what are you looking for from him? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So Maybe we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Okay, all set to go. Merrifield. With Merrifield up to the plate. The pitch. Whoa, Bounced whoa, whoa. out to short. Pacheco. Throws across. Batting second. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Two for nine so far in the series. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Hey, and the right-hander deals. Gloves it on the dive to first. And they get the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Mo Pacheco. Homered last Mo. night, added another hit as well. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey, let's go, kid. What time you? Pitch misses there, 1 and 1. Left hand batter waits. That one missed. And another ball. Swings through that one for strike two. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells gone. you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Two outs, runner at first. TJ Hopkins, the next to hit for the Reds. A one down. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Up next in Cincinnati. Just kept it simple. No Played pepper field. with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now Stuart Fairchild struck out swinging his first time. Going to now. That one the other way. And a base hit. Pacheco rounds third, headed for the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And they're up by three. Well done. Drives in the run. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it in the center field. 
Mo Pacheco digs in now. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Mo Pacheco. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they can't glove it cleanly over to Merrifield. He's out. Oh, he's safe. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the back, base runner. Back. Snap throw to first. Oh, Pacheco back on a dive. Another move to first, hey. and he's back in that time as well. Pacheco at first, one gone. In the air, left field. Varsho moving under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Just pull off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open now instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. At the play, Stuart Fairchild, one for two. Find me a barrel right here. The one Runner. two. Run around the goal. Ball outside. Throw to second. Stay. He's safe. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for these guys. Bunting for a hit. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. Jonathan India no at the plate. So RBI baseman. spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that India. well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. That one the other way. Merrifield, the first in time. And that's the end. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Whit Merrifield. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left side. Gathers and throws to first. And there's two down. Up next for the Blue Jays. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mo Pacheco. And the pitch just missed. Pacheco in his rookie season, only 18 years old. And he was born in Puerto Rico. The wind and the pitch. Ball two. Two one. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent. It produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. And a good eye there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which... Here's George Springer. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Here's a tapper towards short. Pacheco. Goes to second. Safe there. Throws it away. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. And he's going to make it up to second base as that. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mo Pacheco.
Out towards left center. O'Neill drifts towards it. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Now batting. The center fielder. TJ. Oh, you can see these guys are feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep. Tell you what. He's just hit his first career home run. Carlos Pena, you hit 286 home runs in your career. What do you remember about home run number one? Well, the first home run I hit went the opposite way, so that's good hitting right there, Jake. Right. I got a pitch out over the plate. Gil Heredia threw me a fastball out there, and I crushed it. Black out that left center field. And then that same game, I went deep again uh, versus Vizcaino for my second homer of the game. So it was a two-homer night for me. Were you able to track down the ball? No, can you believe that? Whoever has my home run ball, my first homer ball, come on, give it back. Come now, how, how much tougher <laughs> is it to hit a home run at this level as opposed to other levels of professional baseball? Well, you know what? When you're between the lines and on the, in the batter's box, you know, everything becomes the same, right? You just have to see the ball hit it, get good contact. So that's the same. I'm just talking about the pressure yeah. around you makes it that much harder. And, of course, the competition is better on the mound. So the likelihood of you going placata in the big leagues is, you know, lower than in... Well, I'll speak from uh, getting in the box. Even though I was a pitcher, it was hard enough for Oflo to make contact. Making contact for some major league pitcher is a very tough thing to hit a homer even tougher. Yeah, three home Good runs hurry. in Jake Peavy's career, including Look one out. against Brad Penny. Where? Dodger Stadium. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> That's a memorable That's homer. <laughs> Coming to you live from Southern California, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Los Angeles Angels. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Los Angeles Angels. All right, just about set to go. On the hill and coming off a great start, Shohei Otani. 
Yeah, it was nails last time out, worked deep into the ball game, racked up double-digit strikeouts. We'll see if he can repeat that performance in this one. So two down, Mo Pacheco, the next to hit for the Reds. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. We're midway in inning number one. On to the bottom of the first. One out now, so one, one out, out with two aboard. Gio Urshela to the plate. Enters this one with the seventh best average in the American League. Come back to the mound. Overton. Over to second. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. One run, three hits, no errors, and one left on. Second inning coming up from it. So digging in, Mo Pacheco. First time up was a pop out. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Yo one. Just missed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Falling behind two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next one misses. And the count is three and one. Joey Votto in the on deck circle. In the air, left side. He's got it. Rounder tags at second. He thought about it, but instead returns to second. Yeah, that was a wasted oh, RBI that's opportunity, that's but the first competitor season. like him, he no is way. looking forward to making up. Now Here's David it. Fletcher. Grounded out his Jake first did. time. Look Fletcher. for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. The 3 1. Out to short. Pacheco. Zips it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now batting, the left fielder, Taylor. So two away with nobody on. Mo Pacheco now at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That clips the zone. Going one. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Strike two. Hook, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. That's off the mark. Now two and two. And as well, lots of pop in that bet. So you combine the slug with really good defense. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Man at first. Here's Shohei Otani. Cruising on the mound right now. But a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Left-hand hitter waits. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. New inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Mo Pacheco. And the pitch. That misses. And that is ball one. The 
The next offering misses. And the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Come on, baby. See it, drive it. Let's go. And now it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And here it comes. Got him swinging. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that. Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits. And now all of a sudden, it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now. And that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you all along. And you can keep this win streak going. Our this one ends tonight. the final. 9-2. Thanks for stopping.
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. And now, welcome your Los Angeles Angels. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill in this one, Tyler Anderson. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look off. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the they pick up a run. Mo Pacheco, the next to hit for the Reds. Pacheco. Swings through that one. 0-1. Pacheco measures 6 feet 2 inches, 200 pounds, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. Anderson ready to work. There's the strike. And that's outside. And now two and two. Two two on the way. That one is upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Man at first with one gone. Next for Cincinnati, T.J. Hopkins. That's inside. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for these guys. And it's second. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. He's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher now to bear down, down, make the right pitch, field. get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On, so back to the top of the Reds lineup. And here is Stuart Fairchild. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball to the right side. Ring Hifo in plenty of time to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Shohei Otani up to the dish. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Oh, and two now. Ground ball left side could be two. Pacheco to second, over to first, safe. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. One out, base is empty. And now, Mo Pacheco. He reached out a walk his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Walsh under it. Makes the grab out. Number two. Now Max Stassi comes up to hit. Max Stassi. The wind of the pitch. One, on one, the one. ground to the left. Pacheco. On to first. Oh. And that's an out. Now back. Second baseman. Louis. Base is empty, one away, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Mo Pacheco. In there for strike one. And ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Drury calls it in, two away. Brandon Drury to the plate. 
Kicks and fires. One, one, one. Ripped to short. Throw over to Votto, and that'll do it. All set to start the ninth in this one. And yeah, the batter now, Mo Pacheco. Pacheco checks his swing, appeal to third. Nope, he held back. On the ground, right side. Under Shello. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal. 6 5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. 2023 Los Angeles Angels. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill today, Jose Suarez. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Mo Pacheco swings through it for strike one. Strike two. Well, all on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Mm, just misses there. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Nope. That's one out. Runners at first and second. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. Gliding around third is India. He scores on the board first. It's one zip. Now the tag at third, and they got him. That's heads up play right there. The outfielder knowing he has no shot at the runner at home, so comes up trying to cut that runner off at third and does a really nice job. Got to appreciate that. And the batter now is Joey Votto. One for four with a double in yesterday's game. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Renfro makes the grab and that'll end the inning. A run on two hits and they leave one. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Reds one and the Angels nothing. Now the batter now, David Fletcher. And leading off for the Angels, the shortstop, David Fletcher. Bounce to the left side, Pacheco. The throw to first, and a quick out number one. Runner at first with two away. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. One, two now. Now a pop up on the infield. Ball, 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 Steer ball. makes the catch, and that'll do it. So no runs on, no hits, one error, and a runner left. On to inning number four. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Mo Pacheco. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way high. Let's go, kid. Here we go. Swing and a miss. It's two and two.
He goes down looking. No, just couldn't pull the trick. Two outs, runner at first. And now, Brandon Drury. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a bouncer. Tosses to first. And that is that. Angel Strand 1. Still behind by a count of 1 to nothing. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Mo Pacheco. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Pacheco, in his rookie season, only 18 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. First pitch, not close. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right Come there, on, swinging at that Come pitch, on, that's a no-no. Yeah, now two, two balls, balls and a strike. Righty to the plate. Swings here and blasts one left field. And it hits the fence. Pacheco into second, and he's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now the first baseman, Joey Votto. All right, one more time, right here. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And he deals. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. No, it's all about creating opportunities, and, and this is one Jason. of them right here. Bossler. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. And that one is lifted in the air. Scoring, Renfro in position. Makes the catch. And the inning is over. So they load the bases on just one hit, but can't get anyone across. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds three and the Angels nothing. Hey, Bottom of the idea. sixth. Go, so in down for the off. Angels, the David Angels. Fletcher. Not shortstop. David. Risky, Fletcher. back to work. Tapped softly on the ground. Over to first, in time, nice stretch. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mo Pacheco. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Good eye right there. Stevenson, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. Strike one. The pitch. And a big swing and a miss. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes. So one out, nobody on. 
Brandon Drury the next to hit for the Angels. One. Out to short, One. Pacheco. And there's two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out Good of hitter. the air. Let's the defense. And next for L.A., number 95. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Roll over to Votto. And that's the third out. Angels strand a couple. Mo Pacheco, the next to hit for the Reds. Mo Pacheco. Check swing, but he went too far. Slider right there. Pacheco tries to check his swing. Now look to third. And he held back, according to Ricky Holiday. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Could be extra bases. Gliding around third is India. One run is in. Here comes Stevenson around third. He's in there. It's seven to nothing. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. Stay through it. Let's go. Drive it. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final. Everybody stand up if you.